Hey guys, thanks for coming. Ryan Kearns here and today I just want to talk about how Lyme disease is not just one organism despite popular belief. Look, Lyme disease is not just about ticks and Lyme disease is not just about Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the bacteria that you probably keep hearing about. There's a multitude of different co-infections that exist with each case of Lyme disease. These include Babesia, Bartonella, Anaplasma, Mycoplasma, Ehrlichia, Chlamydia, the list goes on. It's actually a lot of different types of infections. So when whatever occurs, whether it's a tick bite or a mosquito bite or some kind of bite that that creates Lyme disease in your body, it actually sends a bunch of different infections into the body. It can range anywhere from just the Borrelia, the Borrelia infection to uh, you know all those other ones that I just named. So it just adds another layer of complexity onto Lyme disease when you realize that there's other co-infections that could come with the Borrelia and hell, the Borrelia doesn't even need to be there. You could only have Bartonella or you could only have Babesia in your system. So it just creates a lot of confusion about Lyme disease and what's going on in the body when you realize all the different factors that go into it, including that it could be multiple different infections, but they still refer to it as one name known as Lyme disease. Instead of being just one organism in the body, it's an infectious cocktail that lives within us, which is a little bit more intimidating and a little bit more variable from different people. So, you know, that's an it's another layer of complexity that means that my Lyme disease is not your Lyme disease, is not your neighbor's Lyme disease, it's different in everybody because we get these different co-infections. That's only one reason that it's different. Look, it's already bad enough that doctors are treating Lyme disease as if it's just another bacterial infection, when in fact Borrelia burgdorferi are not just another bacteria. But then you add the layer of complexity that is, oh, it might not be just Borrelia. It could be all these other co-infections. And it just makes things way harder. It goes right over most doctor's heads. I mean, they have other patients to take care of that have other problems. When someone comes in to Lyme, with Lyme disease to a general practice, they don't usually know everything about Lyme, including the amount of co-infections, the way the immune system responds to it in different people, and how to treat it. Really, they take a one-size-fits-all approach, which is to give us antibiotics and, okay, go away. It should go. It should be fine when really it's so different from person to person, you really need to take a unique look at each different case of Lyme disease. So, you know, Lyme disease specialists often talk about how you should treat the symptoms that show first. So if you're showing symptoms for Bartonella right now, it's because your body is trying to fight off the Bartonella. So you can come in and help your body by giving it the right herbs or antibiotics, whatever you're gonna use, to help your immune system attack what it's already attacking. Then after that's gone, usually new symptoms will rise, right? Because the, the Bartonella might get killed off, then you have new symptoms rising. So then you have to treat those symptoms with different herbs or different antibiotics. So it's really just seeing which symptom patterns are there, realizing what infection goes with that symptom pattern, treating that, because that's what the body's already trying to fix and then switching it when the symptoms switch. Look, nine out of 10 Lyme disease specialist doctors say that the um, symptoms that we're feeling are usually the, the immune system's response to the infection rather than the infection itself. So what that means is if we can help that immune system, right? If we can come in, remodulate and help that immune system take out what it's already fighting, we can increase our chance of healing tenfold. So counter to that would be treating the wrong disease, you know, treating the disease that your body's not already fighting off, in which case it's just unhelpful and kind of unpurposeful and it's not really gonna help you heal from Lyme disease. If you're trying to treat for Borrelia, but you really you have symptoms for Bartonella that are showing most because your body's fighting off that Bartonella. So, you know, it's a really interesting thing to talk about all the different co-infections that go with Lyme disease really make it much more complex and hard than most people originally think. You know, they think, oh, I have Lyme disease. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's an infection due to this bacteria. 
Actually, it's an infection due to a multitude of bacteria. A cocktail of infectious bacteria is swimming through your bloodstream. So learning about each one and which symptoms come from each one is really the best thing we can do to help ourselves heal from Lyme disease. So to sum it all up, the fact is that Lyme disease is not one organism and this adds another layer of complexity to Lyme disease when it's already complex as it is. But the good news is if we pay attention and make proper decisions, we can heal the body by focusing on what the body wants to heal first. All right, I'll see you next time, guys. Hey guys, it's Ryan Kearns. Thanks for watching that video and I hope you pulled something from it and got value from it. I just wanted to let you know that I recently wrote an ebook that details my story of my battle with Lyme disease and how I healed myself with diet, herbs, and healthy conscious living. It's called Lyme Wars. How I counterattacked Lyme with nutrition, herbs, and healthy conscious living. If you're interested, it's actually completely free for the time being. And you can click on the link below or go to lifenutrition.com to get your free copy. If you like what you saw in this video, push subscribe below. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.